YouTube, it's your boy Tinker Vision. We back with another video after a long three to four months, you know. And as y'all can see, this man was woofing. He's doing the big chop today. I got my three guard on right now, and I'm just cutting his hair off at the tip, you know what I'm saying? And this is when I actually put the guard to his head, to his scalp, to get everything down to that desire and lift. Making sure ain't not, no collops or nothing on his hairline, just making sure everything is cool. So after getting everything down to that desired length, I went ahead and washed his hair. As y'all can see, it's a dramatic difference between when I didn't wash his hair to now. And after I did that, as y'all can see, I'm going in with my trimmers and that ball line. And we're going to be doing a high taper today. So I'm just making sure everything is at that desired length and as broad as possible. So after I go in and set my ball line, of course I'm gonna go back using the shader again as broad as possible. And as y'all can see, I went ahead and grabbed my clipper, my magic clips, with just the lever open. Just sending that first guideline. And while sending them guidelines, make sure y'all go over that guideline multiple times or a couple times so everything is done at that desired length. The more you go over it, the more efficient the fade will be. After I set that guideline, I go ahead and take out that line with the lever closed. Just flicking out. You want to flick out. You don't want to flick into the line. You want to start at the bottom of the line and flick into the line. And as I can see, I'm just playing with the lever just doing my thing and I'll, after that I went ahead and doing my one and a half guard with the lever open normally you will go ahead and grab your one guard with the lever open but right now I'm just making it easier for when I do grab that one guard just debulking I'm saying I low-key fade down if that makes sense I just make everything easier for the guard that you're supposed to actually use after I did what I had to do with the lever open. I went ahead and closed my lever with the one and a half guard. You know what I'm saying? Just soften up that line for when I do throw in that one guard, just to make my job easier. That's all it is, is making your job easier. You know what I'm saying? Deep bulk so it can be easier for that guard that you're supposed to throw on. All right, so now is when you're gonna throw in that one guard. And I start off with the lever closed because I already did all that work with the lever closed with the one and a half guard on. So now I don't have to go one guard open. I can just go one guard closed and hopefully that line come out. If it don't, that's not go down to the zero guard. All right, so now to debulk that area up top, I went ahead and threw in my two guard. And as y'all can see, I seen a line that was still in the blend. So I went ahead and threw on my one and a half guard and just did my little detail work, just getting everything to come together. And instead of using the zero guard, I go ahead and just use my Andy's Master because the teeth are longer than normal clippers. This is my zero guard. You know what I'm saying? So I don't got to use the guard. I can just go ahead and grab my Andy's Master's. The same thing you do on the sides, you do on the back. But you can make your guidelines a little bit more larger than the size because you have a more workspace to work with. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna see my guidelines be a little bit more thicker than how it was on the side. And since it's the same steps, I don't really have to explain that much. So we just gonna lock in on why it took me three to four months to drop you know what i'm saying we're gonna connect on a deeper level so basically i just been finding my identity in christ you know what i'm saying um just in the beginning of this year i didn't know who christ was i was low-key atheist you know what i'm saying i ain't really believe in nothing until something had happened and it brought me closer to god you know what i'm saying so in this season i'm just mastering discipline and being obedient to god and learning who he is and learning that love, you know what I'm saying? Just really just locking in with, building my relationship with Christ himself. Getting in that Bible every day, um, going to church, you know what I'm saying? I'm just 
just learn my identity in Christ as of right now. So this journey ain't easy. It's definitely a hard journey. Well, not hard, but difficult journey. But I'm changing along this journey. You know what I'm saying? This journey, I'm just changing. I'm changing, changing, changing. So I will be bringing in new content on my journey with Christ. And, you know, it's going to be, this is going to be a tough journey for me. You know, it's going to be a tough journey for us. And I'm going to spread what I be doing to build my relationship up with God on YouTube. So we're definitely going to connect in a deeper level. So it's going to be a mixture on my channel. So I'm going to feel where I'm coming from. But this is literally the same steps that I did on the side. And as I can see, we're going to line up. Before lining up any parts of the hairline, you do want to grab your hairspray and spray your hairline and blow dry it and brush it down. I didn't get that footage somehow, some way, and I don't, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, unfortunately. But as I can see, my trimmers are doing this thing. I'm keeping everything as natural as possible and just letting my trimmers work for me, you know? Them things are hitters. Everything is like a mirror. What you do to one side, you do to another. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything is the exact same on both sides. And as y'all can see, I brush down every time. I line a piece of hair up, I brush it right back down to make sure everything is set neat as possible. As a barber, you want to be as neat as possible. Cleanliness is close to godliness. So make sure your client walk out the chair looking clean. Make sure you go over things multiple times and just check over yourself. So while lining up the front, I was, I was being in the camera view plenty of times. So that's why it's not really focusing, you know, I'll pop my apologies. But you always want to start to line up in the front off in the middle and work your way to your most dominant side. And I am right-handed, so my dominant side will be my left-handed side. So as y'all can see, I'm making sure everything is cut naturally. Everything is naturally cut. Make sure your cut is naturally sharp before adding on any enhancements or add-ons. And if you had to ask me what look cleaner, having hair or low cut, I'm always going to go with the low cut. This man had hair. I knew he was tired of it. I knew it was a lot of maintenance. It's just so much more easier just getting a low cut. You look clean and older. So anytime you come come to me and you ask me, should I cut my hair? Should I cut my hair? And you have hair, I'm telling you to cut your hair off. So with that being said, if you want to get a big chop, come to me, man. I'm going to get you right looking clean. Was when we gonna add on the add-ons, you know. I go ahead and grab my enhancement, getting it right. But like I said, before adding on any enhancement, you want to make sure the cut is naturally sharp. And damn, just look at that cut, man. Just look at that cut. This man went from looking like he was 16 to his real age. I ain't even gonna expose his age because y'all gonna be looking at him like, why you bending? Cut your hair. But after you go ahead and spray your enhancement, you want to reline it up, do your thing, and then go ahead and go in with your razor work. Watch me work. When you use your razor, make sure you stress the skin. It's going to be damn near impossible to stress, I mean, to cut your client if you make sure you stretch the skin.
this is the finished result, y'all. I go ahead and spray them down with that spice. If you an old subscriber, you already know that spice was bending thing. That's besides the point, though. We're going to go ahead and spray that oil sheen on them. Getting right. I knew it had been a long three to four months, but we back and better. It's your boy, Tinker Vision. If you made it to the end of this video, like, comment, subscribe. And we out of here.